It's quite surprising that Tisha B'Av, the saddest day of the Jewish year, a day of heartache, of mourning, a day of crying, bitter tears, transforms six days later on the Jewish calendar to a day of celebrating love. And we have two Bav. What's the link between the two? How do we make the shift from one extreme to the other? Yishayahu tells us in Chazon Yishayahu in Perak Aleph, which we read about in the Haftorah and Shabbat Chazon, the Shabbat before Tisha B'Av, we read about the idea that Yerushalayim is meant to be Kirya Nemana. It's meant to be the faithful city. A city that is filled with people who are kind and compassionate to the widow and the orphan. A city that is filled with honesty. The Yerushalayim is a holy city where justice and righteousness prevail. And unfortunately, we weren't living up to that. And that's part of the cause of our demise that led us to experience the Chorban and Tisha B'Av twice and all of the atrocities that occurred to Ben Israel, to Am Israel. Rabbi Sachs writes in Covenant Conversation on Parshat Devarim how self-interest leads to the breakdown of society. And if so, if that's the case, then the opposite can be true as well, that empathy and selflessness Generosity of spirit can invigorate a society. And if we start in our personal relationships and work our way to our neighbors and communities and work our way outward, it can thereby influence our entire community, our entire society and civilization. Now, the word Nehmana, which we said is in the Chazon Yishayahu, in the Tochacha, in the chastisement given by Yishayahu Hanavi, that same word is a word that connects to Tuba'av in the sense that it's a day very popular for marriages, for wedding season begins. It's a day of proposals. It's a day of love. That same word is used in a bracha that we give to couples when they marry. And we say to them that they should be married, sheyisku, to build a bayit ne'eman Israel. We have that same word ne'eman. Ne'eman is faithful. We have Jerusalem, the faithful city, and we have this idea of the home being a faithful home. And there is the link that each individual home could be a mikdash ma'ad, a, a mini sanctuary where the divine presence can rest. When a couple and a family develop heightened empathy and selflessness and generosity in individual homes, that can have a ripple effect on our communities and societies. If we make our private homes a place where we are faithful to the Torah and the morals and ethics of the Torah, then the force of love that we experience on Tuba Av can perhaps overpower the death that marks the ninth of Av. As we read in the end of Shir Shirim, Simeni kechotam avibecha, kechotam azurecha, ki azaka mavet ahava. Place me like a seal upon your heart, like a seal upon your arm, for love is as strong as death. Love for one another, one bite neman Israel at a time where we can propel us forward to reestablish the holy city of Yushalayim to be Ir HaTzedek, Kiryan Emana, the paragon of faithfulness, that Zion should be redeemed through justice, the Israel Hashem, with the house of God established at the head of the mountains, exalted above the hills.